What's up guys? A few weeks ago, I posted a video, should you buy a Nexus 7? Now that the Nexus 7 is available in more countries, uh, you probably already pre-ordered one or already have one. Anyhow, I'm going to show you seven awesome things you could do with your Nexus 7, including turning it into a phone. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is get Groove IP. The Nexus 7 is great, but it doesn't really have a phone. Well, now it does. With Groove IP Lite, I'm using the Lite version, you can actually use your Nexus 7 as a phone. And when you have it linked to your Google account, when you, for example, click on people, it brings up all of your contacts and you can easily make phone calls, which is what I do. 99% of the time when I am at home, I'm actually using my Nexus 7 tablet. Or let's go ahead and dial somebody right now. Kind of show you guys how it works. 303. One, six, seven, six. I have some questions. So let's go ahead and call them. Thank you for calling Jordan Beach Company. Can I help you? Uh, yes. Do you guys do deliveries? Yes, we do. Uh, what's the minimum? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. And how far do you guys go? How many miles? Uh, what, what's your streets? Uh, Evergreen. Yeah, we go over there. Okay, cool. Let me try and get some people round up so we can get ten dollars. Okay. What's the What's the cross street on Evergreen? Um, I believe it's Highland. Yeah, yeah, we're, we go over there all the time. Okay, awesome. Let me get Let me get people uh, so I can get an order of uh, ten dollars or more. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. So there you have it guys. Groove IP is awesome, it works great, and it sounds good, and of course they can hear you. Now in order to use Groove IP, you're gonna need a Google number, which is free, and you can also receive calls, which is a bonus. It's a very easy to use program. They do have a paid version that allows you to do other features. So go ahead and take a look at that, but I am using the light version, and like I said, it works great. The next thing you should do is download gaming emulators. The Nexus 7 is a great device for playing video games. So as you can see here, I have a Gearoid for a, um, Sega Master System, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, and PlayStation. And let me tell you, it works great, especially because of it, the seven inch uh, form factor. Um, let's go ahead and play Contra here just to show you. Put this bad boy in landscape. Sorry for the glare there. Go ahead and hit start. And this is a really, really comfortable experience. The tablet is very lightweight, so this is one of those things that uh, you will not get tired playing uh, emulators. Especially since it's still the uh, 4x3 resolution. Um, you have enough space for the, uh, the virtual keypad. So your, your uh, fingers don't really get in the way, which is kind of what I like. But uh, yeah, definitely this is uh, number two on my list. Go download some emulators if you have a Nexus 7 tablet. This next one's gonna be a little hard to demo, so you're just gonna have to trust me on this. Go ahead and download Beats Audio Installer. Now for this one, you will need root access, otherwise it won't work. So go ahead and root your phone first and install the Beats Audio um, Installer. This installs the Beats drivers and I can tell you right now, do a before and after. For example, listen to a specific song before you do the installer and then listen to it after. You'll notice a huge difference. Also, when you plug in your headset, you will get that Beats Audio on top of here and it will let you access a few uh, settings. Nothing really spectacular, just if you wanna uh, have the notification on top that you are indeed listening to the Beats audio sound driver but I can tell you it works great and you can definitely notice a difference which actually brings me to my next one which is rooting your device if you haven't done so make sure you root your device it's very easy I've actually added a link below to a forum XDA developers to show you how easy it is to root your Nexus 7 as you can see here are some of the allowed um, 
programs that have root access. For example, ad free. I don't have annoying ads anymore. Beats audio, like I showed you before. Lucky Patcher. And of course, Titanium back Backup, and this is just super user. And of course, I've used it on other stuff on my phone that have other additional applications that require it, like secure settings and so on. The Nexus 7 tablet is great, but there is room for improvement. For example, take a look at these shortcuts. They don't come by default, and for this, we will use Widgetsoid. Widgetsoid allows you to put whatever you want on top, literally. Um, let me go ahead and show you really quick. For example, Wi-Fi, portable Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, mobile data. This is just on the network side, okay? You can also do screen, for example, screen timeout, lock pattern, auto lock, orientation, brightness. As you can see, I have some of those check marks. And to make sure that it, it shows up in your pull down notifi notification, make sure you go to advance and under notification, put notification to show widget every time and toggle options quickly, okay? This will make sure that when you use the pull down, it will appear and you don't have to have it on your windows like most people do. And that is Widgetsoid, which is, again, an awesome, highly configurable uh, application for your pull-down notification. Now, I enjoy Jelly Bean a lot, but if you really want to take it to the next level, go ahead and download Nova Launcher. Uh, Nova Launcher replaces your default launcher, and it allows you to theme your tablet and really give it a personal look. Let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and click on open. And as you can see already, things have already changed. So you can customize the dock. You can do a lot of different things that you normally couldn't do with the default uh, launcher. And Nova is one of the most popular ones. There's also one called Apex. Make sure that you use Nova launcher as default when you click on the home. And that way, whenever you click on the home button, it'll always default to that one. So once again, there's many different launchers out there. I recommend Nova or Apex. Those are the two popular um, launchers available for this tablet that are running or at least support Jelly Bean. So now that you installed Nova Launcher or Apex, go ahead and download an icon pack. In this case, I'm downloading my UI X2 Go Launcher theme. Now this one is compatible with Nova and Apex and it's really easy to set up. Let me show you guys. Once it's done installing, you can see the icons look like the default ones from Stock Jelly Bean. Go ahead and click on Nova Settings, look and feel, and then try and find the icon theme. Click on or push on My UI X2 Free. Go ahead and click on back or go back and you can see the icons have changed. They look a lot more crisper, a lot nicer, and as you can see, it gives it that My UI look. And there's a lot of different icon packs available that are compatible, and it completely changes the experience on your tablet. So what did you guys think? Those of you that already own a Nexus 7, leave your comments down below. Let us know what kind of modifications you guys have done to your tablet, and also, let me know what type of videos you guys want me to do. I am listening. Even though I don't respond to everyone, I do listen to everybody or I do read everybody's emails and comments. So make sure, remember, you guys decide what videos you want me to do. If you want to find out what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter and Google+. I've left those links below. Remember, new videos every Tuesday, and I'm also going to be throwing out new videos throughout the week. So make sure you subscribe if you like what, I, what you see here. Anyhow, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next Tuesday and throughout the week. Thanks again for watching. Adios.